North Carolina. I hadn't been back to this part of the country since after my army days in 06. And it was long overdue. Planned to drive into the Carolinas, but the weather forecast on our primary route through the mountains was pretty severe. So we decided to divert to a gap we found in the storms, centered on the Uvari National Forest. Lucky for us, this plan change brought us to within an hour of some friends of ours and right on top of a Jeep Badge of Honor trail that we had yet to conquer, Dickie Bell. close to be focused on me buddy <laughs> so we have arrived at the steamy steamy <laughs> Uari National Forest in North Carolina Woo. long way from dr the dryness of the uh, US Southwest this desert flower is in I'm a flower is in 90 degree temperatures with 51% humidity. Now I know that to a lot of you, that's nothing. That's nothing. To me, it's something. I'm steamy. <laughs> All right, so we are here at the Baden campground. I think that's Baden, Baden, something like that. We didn't really plan on staying at a campground. There's really some dispersed sites that were not really well taken care of. And then others that had so bad a mosquito problem that it wouldn't have been fun. So, here we are. No shame in a National Forest campground. They're actually pretty nice and it's funny because since we've been here, I haven't noticed any bugs like nothing nothing that could be concerning so I don't know if they spray or if it's just the wind coming in off the lake or maybe it's just not cool enough yet and later on we're gonna get hit hard but well, we'll find out in a little bit So our original plan was to follow one of the back road discovery routes through the Appalachian Mountains. Um, and when we got down to Virginia, storm front 
moved in and a lot of rain happened a lot of rain <laughs> so we opted to change our route because that storm front was going to follow us the entire way and that's no the, bueno. the, yeah so called up a few friends of ours who uh we met on the west coast uh, when they were doing a cross-country trip and uh, we're gonna try to run a Jeep badge of honor trail tomorrow I think we're gonna leave the trailer as a base camp um, and then come back to it tomorrow night but tomorrow we'll hit the trails around here and try to collect some more badges so yeah it's gonna be a fun time Stepping on this? Yeah, Daddy's got to set that up. Here, come over here. Yeah. Oh. What are you doing telling Daddy no? Oh. 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 I think there's a bug on me. Got it. <laughs> All right, ready? Hold the spoon. Okay. All right, let's put some on the pizza. This hurts my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a little bit spicy? Yep. I yeah, am. but I'm so proud of you for trying it. Good job, babe. All right, are you gonna help Mama put the sauce but on? I just wanna taste the cheese first. Oh, well, we're not tasting cheese presently. Well, I just wanna taste the cheese again. What are you guys doing? Well, I don't know. Are you making pizzas? Are we making camp pizza? Mom, yeah. where do you put my pizza? On the grill so that we can melt the cheese. Oh, hang on, babe. Mama, I just washed them for you, okay? Oh, that's your piece. I just dropped it. What? Touched the table a little bit. We won't know the difference. <gasps> you are a strawberry thief. <laughs> You're a strawberry thief. I saw you steal it. Yes, I did. cheese will uh, keep it on. I'm doing this to make it up. Yeah? Hey, how about this? Why don't you wave your circle around? There you go. It's a little hot in places like this. And so we found a solution that works for us. Oh, 
if you see this, I'm not giving a plug for any particular company, but one of these worksite fans, you can attach up here to the bar. You've got a fan like this blowing down. That definitely helps a lot. Yes, it does. So. I'm hot. I'm pouring sweat. Like this much of my hair is wet. Like, how much? Like an inch. Yep, it's wet from dew. Yeah. My personal dew. <laughs> yeah. It seems to be easy to warm up when you're cold camping. But you know, it's so hard to cool off. It's so hard to cool off. Even my water bottle is sweating. Yeah. Well, late. I'm gonna try and make that go to sleep. Say, see you on the trail. See you on the trail. Bye bye. Bye bye. Can you wave? The answer is no. The answer to what? Does a girl wear her moisturizer when nature is doing all the moisturizing for her? So, 
buttoning down the hatches on the trailer, getting some lunch ready, and uh, we've got some friends that have arrived. Brian. Good morning. Jason over here with his Jeep. Hey, say hello to everybody. Hey, how's it going? And Clint over here with Napalm. What's up? And down some tires and we can get ready to hit the trails and uh, see what kind of damage we can do here in the Oregon National Forest. Telling Brian through all of that is screaming, Help me, help me, mama, your phone, your phone. And I'm like, Shh, I'm concentrating. Uari off-road action. Be sure to look for the extended episodes of this trip on the Six Overland YouTube channel. Ah! <laughs> I made this mountain my bee. <laughs> so I've discovered something about myself during the real <laughs> during the really, really stressful parts of rock crawling, I sing salt and pepper at the top of my lungs. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know that much salt and pepper. <laughs> but I'm like, I caught myself and I was like, where is this coming from? <laughs> what was your song today? Uh, well, see, now I'm like, is this even, I think it's salt and pepper. <laughs> Push it. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's all. Oh, you're welcome. After a day of running trails and excellent spotting from Jason and Clint, our friend Brian volunteered to stick around another day and help guide us through some of the trails again. This time, while towing our Patriot campers, X1H. thing we forgot to mention, although he didn't bring it on this trip, Brian is also a Patriot camper owner and knows the perfect route through these trails to put the trailer through its paces.
few spots where I'm not gonna lie, I stopped breathing. <laughs> <laughs> I was leaning this way, and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is how we tip. I know. Special thanks to Jason, Clint, and Brian for showing us around the Uari National Forest. To Patriot Campers for helping make adventures like this possible. And especially to you, our viewers. We are just getting started. And our journey has just begun. Well, that's it for this one. For extended versions of this episode, bonus content, and more, subscribe to our channel over at Six Overland. It's something small you can do to help us out. Thanks for watching. Our journey has just begun.